Our new house is almost finished, like literally days away. Other than some things that are outside, we are pretty much done with all of the construction. So right now we are in the design phase where you bring in furniture, where you put out little things like flowers and books. Nice pink flowers that aren't real flowers, but they look pretty real. This is what makes Leslie super happy. This is what makes me super happy. Right here above the fireplace mantle, we're gonna be putting a TV right here. Those of you guys that have been watching for a while, you know that Claire, London, and I went to Comic-Con in LA, which was madness. I've never been to Comic-Con before. I would go again to Comic-Con, it was cool. Right in the middle of Comic-Con, there was a giant LG OLED trailer. We went through and did like a what's inside tour of the trailer, and through that process, we picked out the TV that we wanted to put right here in this room. So come with me into the garage because LG decided to do something really cool and just send us all the TVs that we need for our house. So this is my garage and these are my TVs. Check this out. OLED, OLED, OLED. This is not OLED. So this right here is the LG Signature OLED wallpaper TV that we picked out when we were at Comic-Con, which is super amazing. And then LG Display decided to send us some more stuff. So we've got this OLED TV right here, this OLED TV, and this Nano Cell TV. This one's like 86 inches. Today I'm gonna show you every place in the house that we're putting a TV. We're going to install these things and check them out and tell you the reason why we chose certain TVs for different places. Oh, and we have one more upstairs. And here's the fifth TV that we have. This is another 77 inch wallpaper TV. So we don't just have one wallpaper TVs, we got two wallpaper TVs. This place is gonna be pretty sweet. We've got speakers all over the ceiling, all over the wall. The sound system's going to be really, really good in here. And so we wanted a TV that you could see from the very back of the room, from over here, from the side. So the LG OLED wallpaper TV was a great option for up here. The wallpaper TV is going up right now and I've watched a few YouTube videos that have said this goes on the wall with magnets. And so I've got this Atlanta Braves money clip with no money in it. Clint, where's all the money? <laughs> gotta finish this job. <laughs> gotta finish hanging this TV, then the money will go. So let's find the magnets that everybody talks about. That looks like one right there. Boom, so we've got magnet right there. All across here, what is that, like four on the top? one in the middle and then four along the bottom. But the one thing that I didn't notice from any of those other videos is that it's not just magnets. You have to put this metal frame on here and if you look right here, it's like a little hanging circle. Right here is a little bracket. This circle goes inside of that bracket. Yes, there are magnets, but that's not the full story. So now it's time. This is the only connector. No HDMI cables at this point. We decided to cut a hole in the wall so we can put the sound bar down there and then it just looks clean and fresh on the wall. All right, it, the magnet went. Now they put it on the circle and then you kind of lower it down a little bit so it locks into place. That's kind of the tricky part. This step is important. You have to get those two little circles in those little notches. And there we go. It is on the wall. Just had to put it in a few little holes there. And then uh, we're wiping it down, but there's a cover on this, guys. Oh, look how much cleaner it is. Look how much darker it is. Look at this. We got to set up. It's not going to translate that well to this camera. Black. This is so black right here. And then you have the lights right next to it. It doesn't spill over because this is OLED technology. This isn't like LCD. It's not, there's no projection screen in there. Oh. What the? This is a sound bar right here that has music that's coming out of it. This is where the brains of the TV are so that you can have this ultra thin, thinner than a cell phone TV on there. We have this, the world's largest, I can't even move it, subwoofer. But we don't just have one of them, we have two of them. Leslie's gonna be so mad when we turn it on, she's trying to sleep. A lot of people like doing movie theater rooms and we thought about doing the movie theater room, but at the end of the day, we wanted a room that you can still wander around, maybe have some food on the table here, come up and down the stairs, have the movie on, and just have it be a little bit more casual. We're going to have the best sound system out of the entire house right here in this bonus room. And then that way, if there is a really cool movie that we wanna watch or a big sporting event and we just wanna hear it, feel the vibrations from the speakers and experience it with a TV that is as clear as possible, this is the place that we come for it. There's like six speakers up in the walls, because why not? These guys like speakers. Let's go check out the other rooms. This is one of two TVs that is going inside of the studio. It's an LG OLED TV that's 77 inches. We have another 77 inch OLED TV that's gonna be going right here on the wall. 
Hey guys. Um, yes. Is 86 inches big enough for you? No. <laughs> That's so big. <laughs> it's huge. That's so big. It's huge. That's crazy. We can watch the Masters in here on the 86 inch. Play golf at the same time. Yeah. All while watching Tiger win the Masters. Hopefully. So it's been about a week since I first showed you those TVs that we got them out of the boxes and we set them up. And the cool thing is, right now as I'm filming this video, not as you watch this video, but we have a home tour going on. And so far in four days, we've had 11,500 people that have come through the house. 502. 502, yeah. there's the number one and two. Right when they walk in, there's a few things that they notice. Of course, the view with the trees and everything looks so beautiful in the living room. But then people walk over and they look at the LG OLED wallpaper TV and they notice how incredibly thin it is. It's been kind of funny because a lot of builders and a lot of electronics people have asked us, so how did you mount that into the wall and make it look like the drywall is flush with it? And then we tell them that it's a wallpaper TV and then we put it on the wall with magnets and their mind is kind of blown because the picture is so incredible. I'm gonna show you where we put all of the TVs in the house now that they're up and uh, there's gonna be some people in the background because there's people everywhere, like thousands of people. This room is beautiful already with the couches, with the fireplace that's open. And then we just have this TV that's thinner than your phone. Typically you just have the sound bar that's like on top of the fireplace. But what we decided to do was hide the sound bar down in the cabinet down in here. So we do have the sound bar that has like all the internals, the speakers and all that stuff. But it's just down in here. This thing is beautiful. It's like better than a piece of art. For the second wallpaper TV, we have to go upstairs to the bonus room. You saw us install this one. Now you can see it in with everything in it. So we have these three wall beds for our friends to stay. But this is kind of like a game room, fun, movie theater room. We have two subwoofers, one right there, one right there, and then speakers all over the place. And then look how beautiful that picture quality is. So with this one, we hid the sound bar down below. You don't have to hide the sound bar with the wallpaper TV. We chose to do that because we have a bunch of speakers that we are already putting in. Two wallpaper TVs in our house. I've always like dreamed of having one. I can't believe we have two. So this is our YouTube studio where we're gonna be filming a ton of our videos. We wanted the TV to be right above here because we're gonna be sitting at this table with cameras up above and in front of us like filming. This is an LG OLED TV also. It's not the wallpaper one, but it is OLED and it's big. And it'll work really well when we have our cameras up here and we can run an HDMI cable to the TV so that we can see exactly what we're filming on the overhead camera. We didn't just get one in here, but we also wanted one in our editing room. And you've got another OLED C9 TV. Again, this is not a wallpaper TV, but it is thin, it is nice. Oh, and we've got something going on over here. Somebody left this game without finishing it. Oh, oh, I only have one hand. Yes! Oh no, oh no. And yes, we kept the Star Wars pinball machine. Hunter is going to be moving down here from Salt Lake City. He's not gonna live inside of here. He'll have his own house. I'm unplugging that. This is where we're gonna edit and we've got this giant TV right here so we can preview our videos like before they go live or watch some of the videos once they're live. Four TVs, four OLEDs inside the house. And there's one more room where we have a TV. It is seriously so crazy at our house right now. Like there's so many people here. By the time you're watching this, like I said, this it's over. Do not come to our house. This is the only time we're letting people come to our house. I have a confession to make. I told you that we are going to be doing what inside of here, a lot of you guys know, a Roadster garage. That's what we said. We're gonna put both of our Roadsters in there, get a lift, but we changed our mind. We have a different plan for the Roadsters. We're gonna put them in this garage over here that has the higher ceiling, still do the lift. We're actually gonna be doing that next week. I'll make a video on it so you guys can see it. But this RV garage or Roadster garage now has a different purpose. Are you ready to see this? This is my RV garage. It's unlike any other RV garage that you see typically. This is now the golf simulator garage. So we have the golf simulator in here. We'll show you more later. We've got our builder, Jonathan, that is crazy good at golf. I mean, look at this bunker shot. Wow, he just cleared the green with that shot. 
<laughs> it's very realistic, by the way, this thing. <laughs> this garage is gonna be the place where Lincoln and his friend Boston come and they practice. His golf coach comes over. We've got artwork that's all about golf, except for this one that has Kobe Bryant on it with a really good saying about working hard and not having excuses. Consider this to be like a bit of a top golf type of room where it's a fun party place with a couch, with chairs and all that stuff. And if you're gonna do that, you need a big old TV inside of here. I think it's an 88 inch nano cell TV. This one is not OLED, it's LCD. And the thinking behind this is we're gonna have this thing on running a lot. It's gonna be running a ton. Sometimes a golf club or a golf ball might fly over and hit it. So I did not wanna put my expensive wallpaper TVs inside of the golf garage. And so we have this and we have full surround sound in here with a really good subwoofer. This is like the little party room. We can throw on like a basketball game and we can come in here and just play 18 holes against each other and challenge each other. I'm going to detail this garage a lot more in a future video. And I keep saying this over and over. This is one of my favorite things of the house, the golf garage. So there's the five TVs that we chose to put in our house. And thank you again to LG for sponsoring this video and sending us the TVs that we needed specifically for each one of these spaces. Thanks for watching guys. Get ready for a ton more house updates. There's so much that we need to show you. We've just been busy doing this home show that I haven't been filming as many videos. And this home show's over in a week, which means we move into the house in a week. See you guys soon. Oh, what the heck? Do not come to our house.